Welcome back inside the poker room where we are closer to crowning our high roller champion. Only three players left in contention for that trophy in $576,000. William Reynolds, understandably, with a big smile on his face after taking out his rival, McKeel Brummelhouse, though he still trails the chip leader, Will Molson. They are joined by the short stack amateur, Adolfo Vieza. Alfredo against the two Williams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now you're taking on two Williams. <laughs> well, it's Adolfo taking on the two Williams, but he's not alone. His friend, Argentinian poker stars team pro Veronica de Bull, is cheering him on. And there's a seventh place finisher here in this event, Matt Marifiati, who's sticking around to cheer on his roommate and buddy, Will Molson. It's tough to stick around. When I get knocked out of a final table on, I am gone. And that's happened how many times? Good for you. Let's go. Yep. Good luck, guys. Good luck, huh? Next time, all in, in dark. Uh-oh. Adolfo will defend that big blind. What do you think? Loco. But I like it. What I like about William Reynolds, he's anything but hombre loco. He's been willing to lay down big hands and wait for spots where he's felt more comfortable. Hombre loco, a.k.a. Ultram Altus, from the button, raises to 90,000 with King 10. No respect for Adolfo's big blind to the small blind, Will Molson. 8-5 off. I still think Molson would rather finish third than <laughs> second here. Molson folds. Yes, it doesn't go all in dark. He's got 20 big blinds left. King nine off suit. And he makes the call. In the last year, Vanessa has played four tournaments and made three final tables. Let me put my chips here in order to push. <laughs> Vanessa preparing for the eventual all in. <laughs> all right. Vanessa and Reynolds. Let's see the flop. It is ace seven. Trey neither gets help. Reynolds still leads with his better kicker. Vanessa first to act. All in. Here you go, Vieza gambling that the flop missed Reynolds. It's a destructive mission for the amateur, but I think he's going to live. I, I think you'll see a patient William Reynolds again. No reason to risk half his stack here. He's got nothing. Old Reynolds does lay it down, and the Told gamble you. from Vieza pays off. Nice flop. Bad flop from the hand. <laughs> Had a good hand, too. Had King Jack. He's patient, but his memory is bad. He had king 10. You know, Viessa says he can tell when poker players are lying because he has four daughters. <laughs> Dads do know. This PCA high roller title will be heading either to Uruguay, Canada, or the United States. Action on American, William Reynolds. He looks down at ace king of spades. You know the jacket Reynolds is wearing? That's a high roller jacket. That's an ace king suited jacket. It's a raise to 90,000 jacket. Molson with Jack Deuce of Spades. You wear a hoodie, you get Jack Deuce of Spades. He'll fold to Baeza. He is suited also, five tray of clubs. You would need a court order to get Baeza to give up his big blind. <laughs> he does make the call again. Here's the flop. It is 4-6 ace. Reynolds hits his pair of aces. Baeza with an up and down straight draw. I smell trouble. Baeza now, first to act. All in. Moves all in. Call. And a call from Reynolds with top pair, top kicker. Baeza had 20 big blinds left and decided to gamble all in on the draw. If Reynolds can win this hand, he will take the chip lead. Dodge the deuce and the seven. Indeed, if Reynolds dodges trouble on this board, he and Molson will go heads up. Viesa, though, only a two-to-one dog here. Deuce has seven. Here's the turn. It is a jack. No help to Viesa. Viesa has gotten lucky before. He needs to get very lucky again. Veronica hoping that her friend can stick around a little longer. Molson could be a step closer to going heads up again for this title. Reynolds has got to dodge one more card to go heads up. Viessa needs a deuce or a seven. 
The River Card is a five, puts an end to a very fine tournament for the amateur Adolfo Baeza. He goes out with a smile, yet another high finish for the affable amateur. Third place over $218,000 for Adolfo Baeza. And for the second straight year, Will Molson is heads up, but this time his opponent will be William Reynolds. These two young guns will do battle when we return. Shake hands, guys. Good luck, boss. Welcome back to Atlantis and the NAPT. A nice act of sportsmanship between the two who are ready to play for the PCA High Roller title. 21-year-old William Reynolds from the U.S. taking on Will Molson, the 22-year-old from Canada. It is a battle of wills. A small favor here. Yeah. On one side is Will Molson, who finished second in this event last year, and now he's back, heads up, gunning for that top spot. Oh, baby, let's go. But standing in his way is William Reynolds. He has the chip lead and looks to seal the deal on his first major live tournament win. Yeah, now he's a big stack and I kicked off. We are heads up for the $576,000 in the title of 2010 PCA High Roller Champion. As we join heads up, Reynolds with a two to one chip lead. Last year, when Molson went heads up against Elkie, he had only 10 big blinds. He's in much better shape here against Reynolds. It's the Canadian beer company kid who's not part of the family business against the former grocery store clerk out of Sioux City, Iowa. Getting arthritis after all this live poker. <laughs> Stopped shuffling chips. The clicking is bad, too, though. Who knew poker could be such a dangerous sport? <laughs> The blinds at 20 and 40,000. Reynolds looks down at Jack, eight off suit. 85. Raises to 85,000. I like Reynolds a lot better with the shades off. Molson's fine by me either way. Molson in the big blind with Queen Jack off suit. A critical element in heads up. What style does your opponent play? I actually think they're both pretty comfortable playing the other. He calls for 45000 more. So much goes into heads up. You have to be skillful, cunning, and daring to be successful. The flop, Jack, King, Trey, a jack for both. Molson leads with the better kicker. Will checks. I can't emphasize enough. Will Molson does not want to finish second again. What an amazing accomplishment to get this far back in this position to win it. They both check. Turn card is a nine of diamonds. Molson adds a gut shot straight draw. And he'll be first to act. And with the best hand, he's going to bet at 115,000. Remember, we saw Reynolds' high aggression percentage earlier. I don't think he's going to fold here, but actually, I don't think he's going to raise either. Yeah, he does just make the call. You're right. I cannot tell you exactly what's going through each of these players' minds right now because, as you know, Lon, I have never been in this position. <laughs> <laughs> All right. River card now is the case. Jack, both with trip jacks. Molson's queen will play. Well, that is not a good card for William Reynolds. How's he ever going to fold trips heads up? Wow, that's sneaky. Molson checks. Checkus, raises, trappus. Be <laughs> careful, Mr. Reynolds. 150. Has to love his three of a kind. 150,000. Reynolds value bets the river. He's not going to get a lot of value for it. Molson now trips with the better kicker. There is the fourth one. A check raised to 420,000. Molson value raises the river. Strong move. His buddy Matt Marafiati likes that. Reynolds in a tough, tough spot. This would be a Hall of Fame laydown, Norman, but he does call. Do you really have Queen 10? Queen it's not Queen 10, Queen but it's still bad news. And Molson will take that pot worth over $1.2 million. Matt Marafiati likes that. I think he's actually noting the time that his buddy exacted revenge on the man who knocked him out. Molson moves within a couple hundred thousand of Reynolds. I don't think I can fold there. Sick, River. I mean, I, you never do thing, but... Actually, he could have folded. It would have been a wonderful laydown. But like he said, it's hard to believe Molson is bluffing in that spot. So action continues. Heads up at this battle for the PCA High Roller Championship. William Reynolds now holds the slimmest of leads over Will Molson. Molson looks down at 10-7 off. 
I think Molson is smart to avoid the beer business line. Flops are better than hops. <laughs> Molson just calls for 20000 Reynolds 9-7 of hearts. I think both of these fellas are smarter than me, Lon. There are just so many 21 and 22-year-old <laughs> wise guys running around poker now. Williams declines his option. He is dominated again by Molson. The flop, 4-4-9. Four, four, Reynolds paired his nine, check. and he'll check it. At this final table, we have seen Reynolds slow play strong hands and let the other players hang themselves. 65. And Molson is tying the noose, 65,000. He tries to buy the pot right here. It's a good notion, but not this time. Call. And a call from Reynolds, who has top pair. And Molson is thinking, did he say call? That's not good. That's not good. All right, turn card now is a seven. More bad luck for Molson, each with two pair. Reynolds with nines and sevens. Molson with sevens and fours. Reynolds checks again. Checkus raises Trappus. But I think Reynolds' check call on the flop might slow down Molson here. Is Molson want to bet more chips? No, he checks. That's a disciplined check. Molson just hit two pair, but he's still wary. River card now. Is a Trey Reynolds two pair our best? Molson left with an inferior two pair. 120. Reynolds will now lead out with 120,000. You know, you rub your hand through your hair long enough, you start to lose it, son. <laughs> Tough spot for Molson. He calls. Top two. Molson cannot get away from it. Nemo Mortalium Omnibus Oris Sapit. Ah, uh, no mortal is wise at all times. Exactly. William Reynolds extends his chip lead heads up at this final table. Molson, meanwhile, hoping to avoid a repeat of last year's runner-up finish. Welcome back to Atlantis and the NAPT here at the PCA. We are in the midst of the heads-up battle at this final table. While these two guys continue to duke it out, earlier there was a heads-up battle of a different variety when two former world champs decided to settle a score. In 2009, Joe Cata became the youngest main event champion, breaking the record Peter Eastgate set the year before. Now Eastgate and Cata will go heads-up for another title. I'm coming after you. He may have broken my record, but he's going down today. I've been training for months for this. I already beat his record as the youngest main event champion, and I'm going to beat him here again today. I'm going to crush him. I'd have to watch it again, but it appeared to me Eastgate threw the match. I think someone got to Peter. Will Molson hoping to defeat William Reynolds here tonight to avoid another second place finish in this event. Let's see where these two high rollers currently stand in chips. While we were away, Molson and Reynolds continued to swap chips back and forth in this heads-up match. But Reynolds extended his chip lead while Molson discovered it was going to be an uphill battle if he wanted to avoid the fate of last year's PCA high roller final table and take down this title. Price of poker has gone up. The blinds are at 25 and 50,000. The ante is 5,000. 
Action on William Reynolds, the chip leader, ace 10 offsuit. 110. Raised to 110,000. The min raise plus 10% tax has become very fashionable. King six of hearts for Will Molson. Molson also likes to play chess and bridge. You don't find a whole lot of 20 something bridge players out there? You're right about that. He makes the call with his King six against Reynolds.